The correct body position allows you to become more streamlined, improving your efficiency in the water. To keep your body as straight as possible from your head to your hips, position your head facing forwards and tilted slightly downwards. Pull your stomach in, aiming to keep your back as straight as possible and your hips as close to the surface of the water as possible. The stronger your kick technique, the more propulsion you will achieve and the faster you will be able to swim as a result. Flex your foot, pulling your toes towards your shins at the start of the kick, while keeping your heels as close to your bottom as possible. As your legs extend outwards and backwards, push the water backwards with the soles of your feet to accelerate and propel your body forwards. Point your toes at the end of the kick. As your legs straighten and your ankles come together, Aim to get the soles of your feet to face each other as much as ankle flexibility will allow. To complete the recovery phase of the kick, bend your legs, keeping your knees as close together as possible while bringing your heels up towards your bottom. Keep your body relaxed as you move through the stroke. A kickboard can be used to help isolate your legs in order to focus on your kick technique. Learn how to improve your stroke technique for a faster, more efficient swim. Extend your arms at the front of the stroke with your hands turned slightly outwards. Keeping your elbows high, sweep your arms outwards, focusing on catching as much water as possible with your hands. Accelerate your arms backwards, continuing your hold on the water until your hands and forearms sweep inwards in front of your body. With your elbows tucked in, extend your arms to the front of the stroke keeping them as close together as possible. Finger paddles can be used to help focus on improving your catch position and your arm pull. A pull buoy can be used to help you to focus on improving your arm pull.